What's up YouTube? Welcome back. So we had an 18 Dodge Charger that supposedly was at another shop yesterday and I took you through the visual inspection process and uh, it had used left front suspension, newer brakes and rotors in the front and it had a uh, an intermittent uh, ABS signal on the left rear wheel with another I think it was a circuit code. There was two codes. The code reader came up with an intermittent and then the other one came up with it a circuit so I was like all right well I want to tear down the left rear wheel replace the hub bearing because I need to knock it out and inspect the axle and uh, he committed to that and then what I noticed is that the wheel bearing was newer but I'm not sure of the quality of that so if I'm going to get one to it you're going to do it the way that I recommend that I want to do the job because therefore I have to be responsible for it so then we get into the job and then uh, Jude puts the car back together and we still have a warning light so then I'm now I have to take over because I'm the most experienced guy and say, hey, did he plug it in wrong? Do we have a product problem? Did he miss something? So then in the back, I just took the plugs for the left and right wheel and trimmed off the tab that, you know, aligns them for left and right. And then I took the right rear sensor that was reading properly signal wire, plugged it into the left rear, rotated it. I still didn't get a signal. Then I took the left rear, plugged it into the right rear, and, I, and then I got a signal even though it was switched on the... The signal wires. So I'm like, okay, that means my circuit's good all the way up to the uh, EBCM, which is the brake control module, and my circuit's clean from the new sensor over to the wheel. So did he break something? Product problem? I don't know. Jude, tear it back down. I need to inspect this. So then I get inside and I see the magnetic encoder ring, uh, which is rubber, is missing. It looked like someone ground it down. So we advise the customer, hey, we don't know what happened here. Your tone ring is missing from your drive shaft. Um, and then he says, well, I just had that replaced. Well, they didn't replace it. Now, aftermarket shows that you can get a tone ring. Um, you ain't getting these local in any warehouses near here. So we call our local Dodge dealer. Yep, comes on the axle, cost us $600. Well, he's gonna take it back to the shop that charged him to replace the axle. So this is for Guys who are not so experienced, is you're working, if you're working on a system, you need to make sure that you're seeing as much as you can when you're on that system. So if you're working on a wheel bearing uh, or something of that nature and there's a tone ring or an ABS ring, you need to make sure it's not rusted out, make sure it's not loose, not, make sure it's missing, make sure the hub bearing is the same depth and size. Um, I've seen hub bearings that have magnetic encoders on them that the parts machine wrong even though it fits in there but it's so far away from the sensor it can't read so you have to look past your nose so I wish these were available because I would have liked to try this and see if it worked thanks for watching